Early childhood services are able to help connect families by providing opportunities for them to meet and form connections. These connections can be a source of support for families, which is a protective factor for the mental health of children and parents. Early childhood services can play a strong role in connecting families with families. And we know that early childhood services of all descriptions, including playgroups, as well as more formalised settings, can help to build a connection between families and families, and that's a strong benefit. I think that early year services are gathering spaces for families and children, and they do offer opportunities for parents to come together and talk to each other about what's happening in their world. They definitely offer those spaces. And I think that they offer really informal and more formal support service kind of environments, if you like, for parents to socialise and talk. Letting families know about community events, like events at the library or um, you know, fates at the local school. Fam families can share that information with educators and um, as well as well as with with each other. And um, inviting families to go on excursions, inviting families to participate when you have an incursion, when you have somebody from the community coming into the service. It can be a wonderful introduction for families who might otherwise just not have not have the transport, not have the energy, not have the time to explore the local library or go to an art gallery or, or even go to a park. So I think that's, that's part of family support is not just that kind of one-to-one -one, uh, sharing of information about the child, but, but linking families up as, uh, with other families, as we, as we said, and linking them, up with, um, linking them up with other resources, other family re support resources in the community. But I think one of the really valuable roles that you know, early childhood settings and also school settings play is um, whether consciously or deliberately or not, they are kind of like a hub for social connection. Um, whether that's just who you talk to at pick up time, you know, who you see at pick up time or drop off time or who you see at a parent meeting or a social event. Um, and, and I think where services do that really well, they, they're able to, I guess, carefully think about, you know, the kind of events they might hold that will help parents to make those connections. So social events that don't have to be daunting or intimidating, but can be kind of low key and informal and, and draw families in and give families that chance to make those connections and build those relationships that are going to help them as families feel part of something, but also help connect their children into you know, friendships and, and, and other things that are going on in the local community. So organising social events, uh, community events, giving families opportunity to um, participate and, and um, do jobs for the service, working bees and fundraising and those kinds of traditional parent involvement activities can be a really good way for, for families to connect with other families. Um, I've heard of a number of services where either through a kind of formal system or more informally that when, when there's a family who's new to the service, they pair them up with a, 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 a parent, well it's usually the parent, not the whole family, but um, pair them up with a parent who knows the service really well and even though that's about um, orienting to the, the service and the way it works, that's, that's a start often and, and from what I've heard works, works really, really well uh, to connect families. I know some family daycare educators who make a point of um, they do a lot of excursions out to the community, to local parks or to museums or the art gallery or whatever, and they make a point of always inviting families to come along or parents to come along on those excursions. Um, we've absolutely loved um, meeting Riley's friends' parents um, and making new friendships and catching up with them on a regular basis. That's been pretty special. Um, you always wonder you know, or will he make friends and you know once you get to meet their parents and it's amazing to see that there's so many lovely people that we've met and you know, we've been invited to birthday parties and um, it's very special, very special and some of, some of the families like they've got the exact same values as, as you do and the rules that you have at home are the same in their house and you're like, wow, well, they, they do the same things that we do. So. Yeah, it's been, been really great. The environment is such a nice environment where you meet other parents as well and you meet and greet 
and there are times when you just discuss your child's uh, play groups and stuff with other parents. And it's really nice and you, f you have a sense of belonging. Uh, the relationships we, we have with other families and, and parents, um, they just help provide a, a very positive feel to the centre and to ourselves. Um, knowing that many of the other families there sh are sharing the same values that we are sharing. Uh, it, it just once again helps strengthen and, and make you feel comfortable dropping your, your child off there each day. Um, looking forward to maybe a quick catch up with parents, you know, even if it's just when you're walking out the door and you know, sharing stories or if you're going through similar problems, having somebody else there that you can discuss it with. Mm -hmm.